biggest residency. I think he wraps it up soon. So, so and last year was uh, Rihanna. She did yep. a phenomenal job. Usher hopefully will do a great job too. I think he'll be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. You're an Usher fan? Yeah, I like some of his stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those things where if you played four or five songs, they'll be like, oh, I like you could, that. Yeah, I like, like that, that, but probably didn't totally realize. Know that it was yeah, him. exactly. Yeah. So you look forward to that, and you know, it's like we don't know if the Patriots are going to be in it yet, right? It's like, I, I don't know. They won <laughs> last week, but I mean, last week. They won yesterday, but yeah. still. They, I don't think they're was a, like that. Was but. Kind of a tough game to watch. I think it was yeah. kind of a slow offensively, both teams, low scoring mm -hmm. game, so. And the weather yeah. certainly didn't help down in New Jersey. And we had to deal with some of that rain, and we're kind of picking up right where we left off from yesterday. Grab mm -hmm. the umbrellas, grab the rain gear, whatever you need to do to stay dry today. You'll need the jacket throughout the day today as well. We're in the 50s with that breeze out of the north-northeast. And, you know, you could look at it as kind of just like a weak nor'easter that's uh, affecting our area. With the wind out of the northeast, low pressure to our south. Uh, we're dealing with rain that's coming down at varying rates of intensity, but it's fairly steady and will remain steady throughout the morning. Might become a little showery or, or more showery off and on as we get deeper into the afternoon and evening. But notice the rain drops on your 24 all the way uh, past sunset. As we get into tonight, it's still cloudy, but we're drying out somewhat. And tomorrow promises to be a better day. Rain chances are a lot lower. Still mostly cloudy, still rather cool as we go through the day tomorrow as well. But of course, we've been dealing with the rain pretty much all weekend long. I know Saturday had many hours where it wasn't raining, but it was damp and cool and the showers started to move on in. And then yesterday, we came, the rain, we had to deal with it at varying rates. And we picked up over an inch in some spots throughout the weekend. And of course, we're still tacking onto that this morning with some of the steadiest, well, I should say it's steady pretty much everywhere, but the heaviest rain is across parts of Franklin County. That's where it's been the last couple of hours this morning where we're seeing the oranges and reds indicating moderate to heavy rain. It shows that it's not raining too hard here in Greater Springfield, but still some pockets of drizzle and mist, but zeroing in on Interstate 91 and along Route 2, the rain coming down. Uh, pretty good here. 55 is your temp in Springfield, 54 Worcester. Along the shoreline, it's right around 60 degrees. And that wind is busy out of the north-northeast, spinning counterclockwise around low pressure. The remnants of Ophelia, which continue to just kind of make their way off to the east. It's lost its uh, tropical characteristics. It's kind of just like a normal weakening system that's to our south. And it will just slowly break down over time as high pressure slowly begins to work on in. So steady rain this morning, showers this afternoon, a lingering shower tonight into tomorrow morning, then a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon, a drier day, temps in the mid-60s, and high pressure will continue to work its way in as we go into Wednesday. And that's going to set up shop not just for Wednesday, but perhaps the rest of the week on into next weekend. So we look forward to that as well. Long way out, but the early call for the weekend is we have some nice... Uh, early fall weather coming in here. Rain totals about a half an inch. The, setting up the rest of the day, it looks like the steadiest, heaviest rain will be across parts of Connecticut, and that's where we have the best chance of rain lingering tomorrow. So today, lower 60s. If you're heading over to the Big E, you'll need the umbrella and the rain gear. Tomorrow, not so much. Maybe just a light jacket, mid-60s. And then on Wednesday, looking pretty good. Sun and clouds mixed, a little bit of a breeze, upper 60s to near 70, and that warming trend will uh, continue as we especially as we head into the weekend there are some signs here that temps may come up for the first week of october the odds are that readings will be running above normal normal high for the first day of october is 68 by the way that's a week from yesterday so it looks like we'll be seeing nice weather settle in here by the end of the week with maybe a moderating trend weekend early call the models have been in pretty good agreement here might have some nice stuff something to look forward to the final day of september october 1st on sunday by the way, the end of the week is looking pretty good, too. So a nice way to round out the biggie after a damp weekend and a damp one today. I think starting tomorrow, we're more or less dry with the exception of a shower. And that may last into the beginning part of next week. Let's hope that holds some beautiful stuff here after we get through today. Another check of the forecast in a few minutes at 616. Amanda and David, back to you. Dan, thanks. In Springfield, Six Bricks Cannabis Dispensary.